Here we go. Whoa! Patrick, he nearly had your hand off. Right, guys, I am at Sims Tropical. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop looking, stop looking. You don't need to see that yet. So, a couple of videos back, you guys might, might remember that I was doing a big unboxing, and the fish were sent to me by Sims Tropical Fish. Now, I'm here now. They invited me down. So, let's take a look at what they got. Right, so we're back in front of this tank. This is a beast of a catfish we've got right here. And look at the size of this arowana as well. <laughs> we're gonna feed it. Like, this is cool. I've never fed a big fish before, so it's gonna be fun. So this is the rescue tank. These fish right here were brought into the shop by owners who didn't realize how big they were gonna get. They are waiting to be rehomed, but this is a much better environment for them than they were in previously. So I have got my buddy Patrick here with me. We have got some defrosted, what is it, prawns? Uh, no, it's uh, some cod, I believe, or something like along the lines of that. Okay, cool, cool, we've got some <laughs> cod. So we want to now feed the arowana, I think, first. Should we do that first, Patrick? Yeah. Where you want to go? You're going to go around there? Yeah. Okay, this is exciting because I've never done this. Here we go, right, it's coming in. He's not spotted it. <laughs> it's probably because I'm stood here with a camera in his face, to be fair. Well, where we go? Yeah, they know there's something coming. The catfish, catfish is, whoa, <laughs> you gulped that, whoa, 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 he's going for it. Look at him, he's so quick. You wouldn't think such a big fish could move so quick. Got it. <laughs> Come on, buddy, it's your feed time. Has the arowana got a name at all? Whoa, <laughs> you missed it, buddy. I'm calling him buddy. No, I can't call him buddy. Yeah? No, because King of the Eyes one was called buddy. Oh. <laughs> I do call a lot of things buddy though. Here we go. Whoa! <laughs> Patrick, you nearly had your hand off. <laughs> that was awesome. But right, we've got to do it again. We've got to do it again. Like, just, just keep your hand in. Just keep... Just <laughs> oh, yeah, got it, got it, got it. Not quite as ferocious, but we're happy you got some food. Right, that was cool. Right, so they've also got a really cool snake neck turtle here. He's over here. Apparently, he's really ferocious, but oh my God, is he cute. I'm going to turn this light off and turn the camera around because I don't want to blind him. Right, Patrick, we're going to feed this one as well. Same food, is it, as we fed the arowana? Yeah, nice bit of cut. He knows food's coming, look. He knows it's coming. <laughs> he missed it. He's still looking. He wants your fingers. <laughs> Whoa, he is quick. Look at his face, he's so cool. He looks like a grumpy old man. <laughs> oh yes, that's lovely. <laughs> I can see why it's a snake neck. You twist it right round, he's vicious as well, isn't he? Yeah, that's definitely taking your fingers off, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Yeah, he's got his eyes on the prize now. Look around then, buddy. Right, okay, I'm gonna feed him now. Okay, but I'm not, apparently you can jump right out, so I'm not gonna lie, I am a little bit nervous. Mainly because I'm trying to look at the camera at the same time. Whoa, whoa! <laughs> no, I bottled it. So behind me, apart from the arowana you can see back there, we have got this big, whoa, Cool, isn't it really? And it's full of, what's it full of Patrick? Uh, Paku and two tilapia. Two tilapia, and, is that the big boys? Or the, yeah, is that the so again guys, all the fish in this indoor pond are rescue fish. The Paku came in for the food industry, but they were shipped in in an improper way. There were actually a lot more than that's here now, but over time people have brought some. So Patrick's just told me it's actually really good to feed them this sort of pond stick pellets because they jump right out of the water. All the food in his hand, big load of those sticks. It looks like cereal. I guess that's kind of what it is, isn't it? Let's give it a go. Oh, actually, wait there, wait, 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 Patrick. You wait there. I'll come around here. We'll see better from this angle, I think. Okay. Right, here we go. <laughs> okay, we can't see anything because they're all going nuts. <laughs> you just got soaked. 
<laughs> nice. Well, that's cool. That's cool to see, isn't it? Now, obviously, all of the fish that I'm showing here, guys, are for sale. So if you want to go to simstropicalfish.co.uk, you can buy these. You can come into the shop as well. Obviously, things are a little bit difficult at the moment what with what's going on. But, you know, there's still a big range of different things here. And they're all fun. Look at that big boy right down the bottom there. <laughs> You trying to get me, Patrick? <laughs> so that is really cool to see because, you know, like I said, I've never fed big fish before. And to be honest, I've never even seen in person big fish before. So this is a first for me, especially that arowana. I mean, look at the size of it. <laughs> it's really cool to see. I just said that. I just said it again. Okay, so now we're coming over to all the Malawi sick kids. Look at look at how many we've got here. So they're expecting food. So look look at how they're all just schooling or shoaling or no schooling. Schooling's right, isn't it, Patrick? I'd say schooling. Shoaling's like loose, isn't it? So, but yeah, go on then, Patrick. Let's get some food in there for them. Oh, the lid's on. <laughs> fail, epic fail. <laughs> Go, here we go, they know something's up. <laughs> it's just like a ball of, of fish when you get up close. They are going absolutely nuts. That's a good shot right there. Well, it would be if I didn't have this stupid light shirt ruining it. Look at that. <laughs> and guys, yes, it is as mesmerizing stood here as it probably looks on camera. <laughs> look, step back just a little bit, you can see why. There's so many in here. They all look really, really healthy and good as well, which is nice. And there's even more on the other side as well. <laughs> Hello, these guys are like, well, Patrick, where's our food? Why, why have you not fed us? <laughs> there we go, there we go. Yeah, get it, get it. Whoa. So how far, how long would these stay here for, Patrick, do you think? Well, we got on shipment the same size as this about a month ago or two months ago christ the shipment of this a month ago and it's it's already it's already gone and now we've got new stock in so people are obviously coming back regularly and really liking the fish so well done patrick good work how long have you actually been working at sim tropical fish now uh, about nine ten months like that. that's nine, ten a months. month after they uh oh, how old are you i'm 14 15 oh, at the end 14. of the month that is nice isn't it guys yeah. How many tanks have you got? Uh, I've got three at home. Three? So yeah, okay. Two, Big ones? Yeah, two 200 litres yeah. and one uh, 20 litres, I think. Okay, yeah, cool, and cool. Yeah. And what do you like to stock? Uh, Oscars. Oscars? Uh, catfish. It's going in hard, right? And uh, plecos. <laughs> and yeah. plecos, okay. Yeah, so you so like more of the exotic kind of stuff? Yeah, stuff. Well, then, I mean, you're in the right place, to be fair, aren't you? Yeah. So do you yeah, like working here? Yeah, it's brilliant. Yeah? Love it. Good, good. Oh, that's so good to hear, isn't it? A proper passionate fish keeper, our Patrick. I'm actually liking these neons quite a bit. Oh, guys, look at this giant garami. I mean, it's only a tiddler at the moment, but that thing is going to get absolutely huge. If any of you have seen the King of DIYs channel, awesome channel, by the way, then you would have seen how big that they can get because they just cleaned the floor, so it's, uh, it's misted up the tank a bit, but yeah, there we go. <laughs> so white. Susan, it's baby Susan. <laughs> Shout out to Joey. What's that one there, Patrick? That's not a red tail, is it? Uh, no, it's an Asian red tail. Asian red tail. He's cool looking though, look. He knows I'm here, I swear. Well, he cool whiskers on him. Right. Okay, so this one's just arrived, so he's still colouring up, but it's a red tail catfish, but he is looking awesome. Yeah. If he'll focus, that is. Struggling with the reflections, but you know, what can you do? It's a fish shop. So Patrick's just asked me if I want to feed the piranhas. Of course I want to feed the piranhas. <laughs> right, so here are the red belly piranhas. So Patrick's gonna feed them, again, the same stuff we had before. Right, are they gonna go absolutely nuts for me, Patrick? Wants to get the sense, wants to all know. Yeah, he's got it, he knows, he knows. When you know, you know, and he knows. That, that's better if I just, whoa, that went quick. Yeah, they're all, they're all sort of sensing it now, aren't they? Yeah, you can see the behaviour's changed. <laughs> I mean, that's the thing. People tend to think that piranhas just rip apart everything, but that's, that's not usually the case, is it? <laughs> Look, they're getting through that pretty quick, to be fair. Most of it's gone now. Awesome. So this is a black piranha. It's actually smaller now than it will be. It, they get much bigger than the red belly piranhas, apparently. 
but oh yeah he's eating he's eating he's good always a good sign when new fish eat isn't it so okay so this one here is another type of arowana it's not the same as the one we saw at the start eating it's what's it called patrick jardine 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 is your arowana okay I like houdini but jardine but you can see the tail on it all oh, opposites <laughs> this is so hard the tail on it is different to the other one the other one's a lot more sort of sleek whereas this one's more rounded I guess but yeah we're gonna feed him he might not eat because he's not been in long but you know we'll give it a go okay here we go look just cleaned up the glass obviously it's a fish shop so glass gets dirty quickly but look how cool that is really nice looking much smaller than the other one obviously but here we go Patrick go for it has he seen it has he seen it he might not eat either way it's still nice to look at him oh and us hello <laughs> I'll try and get out of the way, you guys don't want to see me all the time, do you? He's not hungry yet, but he'll probably get it later. Is he gonna? Is he gonna? No, he's not. <laughs> right, so me and Patrick are now in front of the peacock bass section. I suppose there's a section in it. Look at them, they're little babies. They're only tiddlers at the moment. There we go, there's my hand up against them. I'm gonna feed these guys as well. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, great idea, Patrick. A plume of food now. There we go, there we go. Look, these guys are like, where's our food? Where's our food? There we go, same again. Okay, here it comes. Here it comes. Yeah! I mean, obviously, guys, I'm not going to be having anything like this in my tanks because they get huge. Right, so now I'm in front of the Goliath tiger fish. Uh, hang on, let me turn it around because these fish look ferocious. They look like going to rip your head off. Obviously not at this size, but right, here they are, look. Hopefully you can make that out. You know, excuse my bold egghead just peeking over the top. But look, can you see their teeth? I saw one going crazy just a minute ago. Where's their teeth? Come here, boy. There, look, you can sort of see it there. Look at those. Right, and these are only little baby ones as well. This one's got a little bit bigger. We're gonna feed this one as well, Patrick. These two, yes. Well, you've got our same as the food before, yeah. What are they like for feeding? Come on then. I want to see those teeth in action. That's what I want. There he goes. Yeah, they spotted it. Whoa, there we go. Look at those gills as well, really nice. There's more guys, there's more. The, the, no, guys, guys, it's there. What are you doing? It's right there. Patrick's going for round two. Do they like the smaller pieces, do they? Well, it makes sense, they are small. There it is. He's going for it. Boom! Whoa, where are you going? <laughs> it's mine. It's just my food. No, I've got it. Got it. <laughs> yeah, so I won't be buying any of these. How big did he get then, would you say? Five feet. Five feet, if not bigger. Yeah, yeah won't be getting one of those. Sorry, guys. <laughs> no! <laughs> right so we've got some really nice looking rams in here as well oh yes there we go electric blues that's what we want we have also right at the top here got some really cool flower horns guys i many of you keep telling me to get a flower horn i'd love to get one but not just right now really hard to film because they're up so high but probably can't hear me now <laughs> Look at the size of this blood parrot, guys. So cool. I mean, I know blood parrots get a bit of a bad rep. Some people are really against the parrot fish, but you know, I think they're cool. Not one to get into the politics of things, to be honest, but you know, it's a beautiful fish, isn't it? Let's be honest. Look at his mouth. <laughs> oh my God. It's Guy Diamond's brothers and sisters. <laughs> Look at those platinums, guys. Maybe I'm gonna have to, you know, try and see if I can sneak another one back to the studio. <laughs> why am i speaking like that yeah no i'd love to i love these these are conga tetras i think they're great they get a lot bigger than this though don't they 
Um, they're going to look great in a tank at some point. I'm definitely going to get some. These are probably some of the fish that I've wanted for a long time. And now I have got bigger tanks. So at some point I will be getting some. So obviously these guys have just been fed. But if you want to know how this beauty starts off its life, Patrick's just wiping the glass for me. But look down here. These are the same fish, believe it or not. Crazy. How long does it take for them to get that big? About four years. We're going to go from that to that. Come back! <laughs> there you go. Hello. <laughs> and obviously we've got all your sort of usual stuff as well. Nice big school of neon tetras. How good would that look in a tank? Just hundreds of them. I know it's been done before, but centerpiece maybe for the studio? I don't know. And we've got more. These are the penguins, I think, and then cardinals. And then down here, inside of the glass needs a white, but it's uh, loads of rummy nose as well. So I'm now back home guys in my own fish studio and I just want to say a big thank you to Sims Tropical Fish for letting me come down and check everything out and experience monster fish for the first time. Now some of the tanks that you can see behind me, for example the Angelfish Aquarium, that's stocked full of fish that I received from Sims Tropical Fish, as is the freshwater style reef you can see behind me here, that's got all the rams in it, looking great, I cannot wait for those rams to get a little bit bigger as well. But it's been so fun and you know what, it's actually made me think that I want to sort of get into larger species, not right this second obviously because we're stocked up at the moment. but. The large fish were really fun to watch and feed. I'd have to upgrade tanks as well, to be fair, because things like those silver arrow arnas, I mean, they're huge. But again, that's all in the future, not at the moment. I'd probably have to upgrade the studio again. I mean, it's not small in here, look. There's loads going on. But they are massive fish. Massive fish take massive tanks. So yeah, I hope you really enjoyed this video, guys. If you have, then hit the like button, hit the subscribe, and I will see you on the next one.